Hey everyone, I may not be calling this an official Weight Loss Wednesday video, but I do want to update you because I have some very big news. Let's check out the scale. But first, a big shout out to my video sponsor. Thank you again, ExpressVPN, for sponsoring this video. Don't give a hacker easy access to your online privacy. Protect your emails, financial documents, and passwords with ExpressVPN today. ExpressVPN encrypts your internet connection with the highest standards of encryption today. And it gives you unrestricted access to all parts of the internet. I've been enjoying ExpressVPN for over a year now, and it has helped protect my laptop and my phone. It's simple to install, and I use it with all my online media streaming. Ever been blocked out and unable to see the titles you're looking for? With ExpressVPN, you can simply select your country of choice. Then reroute your connection, refresh, and see updated viewing options. I never browse without it. It's given me freedom and security of all my online browsing, and it protects me from online thieves. Find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the video description below this video. ExpressVPN.com forward slash nomadic. And thanks again ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Now let's change gears and talk about this incredible milestone with my weight loss challenge. Time to get on that scale. Alright, alright, alright. You know what time it is, scale. <gasps> 178.8! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Barely two months into this three-month challenge with uh, James over there at Wanderlust Estate. And uh, I hit my goal. I don't know if I lost more weight than him. I kind of took last week off. As I mentioned, it was hurting the channel. Although, if you watched Wednesday's normal video to the end, there was a secret link to the actual Weight Loss Wednesday video. Uh, and it was kind of cool because I got my new sous vide cooker and did some salmon and lost some pounds again. But but this is um, this is by far the biggest one yet. This This is... I hit my goal. I was... 210.4 pounds on January 1st and here we are just 60 some days later 66 I don't know how many days I think 66 days later uh 31.6 pounds lost now <laughs> I am not surprised by that that does not shock me because if you've been here with me the last two months you would have seen the incredible hard work and sacrifice that I have put in to make this lifestyle change. I mean, I don't have a freezer full of tater tots and pizza and chimichangas anymore. My cupboards aren't full of chips and candy and popcorn. I have made some incredible changes and a lot of different changes. Cardio or strength training every single day of the week. Uh, I'm walking more. My own Frankenstein combination of an Atkins diet, Body for Life diet, and then recently, this last month, intermittent fasting. And I'll say the same thing I said last week in my hidden video. I do not mean to make anybody feel uncomfortable. I want to do exactly what my friends James, Sean, and Jill, and many others have been doing, and that's inspiring others. You have seen this happen live here in 2020. You've seen my face thin. You, you, you've seen everything else thin and grow new muscles. And... There's literally 31.4 pounds gone off of my body. I have not weighed 170 some pounds since before I was in my 20s. I mean, seriously, guys, this is, I am in the best shape of my life right now, at least my adult life. This is fun. This is exciting. And uh, the physical results that I'm getting right now are, are far more rewarding than any other kind of sugary treat or snack, or, or, or anything. I was, I was so happy, man. What a crazy journey this has been. It's not over with. I'm just, uh, I wanted to update you and let you know that I hit my goal. I'm there. I think I beat James this week. More importantly, I, there's still room to lose more pounds. I'm going to be building muscle for the rest of 2020 and further. I am not going to be changing anything drastically. I may be bringing in a few more saturated fats, like the good fats, and I may actually be bringing potatoes back into my life, like cooked potatoes, baked potatoes, um, just a little more starchy stuff. Oh, and spaghetti and pasta stuff. But, you know, some of the things that are definitely just out for me are, are breads of, of any kind. And unless it's my cheat day, you know, I'm, I'm staying away from all the, the bad foods that I usually used to eat every single day, every single meal, so... This is the new me.
And I know there's still a bunch of you out there watching this video right now. You've been saying since January 1st, it's all going to come crashing to an end. And you're going to gain it all back, Eric, and you're going to give up and this and that's not going to work. And you're doing the wrong diet and the wrong exercise. Like I have had so many people telling me what's going to happen. And I simply just said, I don't care. I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to make it happen. And I'm going to be there on the finish line to share the good news. So here I am. I did it. I lost 30 pounds in less than 90 days. Believe me, guys, if I can do it, anybody out there can do it. You just got to make some changes. That's all you got to do. Cattail, why are you on the stove? Okay, Jax wanted to say hi, even though he's not allowed on the table. Okay, a couple things as we move forward forward. Like I said, this video is not replacing normal programming, so wherever it fits into my normal programming, it's thrown in. Still watch my normal video if you're not into the weight loss stuff. Uh, but for the rest of this challenge and into March, I'm not going to be updating weekly Wednesday stuff. I may, I may throw in some stuff at the end of the video or some quick updates just to let you know of any changes or or other great things going on uh until then the end of march when the 90 days is up um hopefully james and i can compare and see who lost more and who won well i don't really care if i don't win this challenge i i already feel like a winner i, I mean as cliche as that sounds I, seriously i have won i have won the ultimate prize already this is so cool man Anyways, that is my update for now. I want to show you one thing that is here in my living room because I had, had done some research and I couldn't find an elliptical that I liked. However, I, I did get a new exercise machine in the RV. Do you know of any RVers who travel with a rowing machine? That's right, folks. <laughs> this is in the fully extended state right now. I simply took off the back bracket on the slider and it rests on the cup holder up there. This is the position I like because I can still watch TV from this angle. I've actually had this for a week. I will admit I have had this machine for a week. I have used it every other day in that week. So what, three or three or four different exercises I've used it. I don't usually wear jeans, but I just wanted to uh, show you a few things here. So it slides back and forth. My, I get my rhythm, use the legs first, arms again. And it fits in the RV great. Also, you know, with the elliptical, you really get an upper body with the arms and you get the lower body with the legs. With the rower, I can, I can maintain over 120 beats per minute with my heart rate. Plus, it's all core, man. It's that ab workout every single time, back and forth. Even on the way back, my whole core stays hard right there. And I can just feel it. I mean, yeah, there's still a leg and an arm workout, and especially, what, what are these called back here? I don't know what that muscle is back there, but I can feel it back there. But my, my, my abs using this, it feels great. So on my cardio days, I easily do 30 minutes of this. Sometimes I even just keep it here for the night, and I'll just watch a show, and I'll just work it. And it, it's just a little little extra, a little, little fun. Uh, I'll update you later on this. Well, let me sh the biggest question, how are you going to store a rower, Eric? Well, easy, 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 easy. It holds up for storage. That's right. Actually, physically takes up less floor space than that other elliptical gazelle thing I have. It also rolls back to the office. There are wheels, so just tipping it back, we've got wheels. And we'll just wheel it back. All right, and here's what it looks like in my office. Jack's man on my chair over there. I will also mention the slide is in right now, so it really does not get in the way at all. The reason I put the uh, bungee on here is to keep this bar from rattling. So it would be doing something like that, but uh, pulling it back like this keeps it from rattling while I'm driving. Also, I've got more room back here to store other stuff behind it. Oh, and plenty of room at my desk to still sit down and work at my desk. I'm not endorsing any product or specific type of machine or anything. I'm just letting you know I'm trying it out. It's working really well and I will probably update you on how that's working, especially for my abs. Thanks so much guys for your support through this. 
I know I had a lot of doubters out there, a lot more haters. Uh, but last week, without the weight loss video, for the first Wednesday of 2020, I did not have a net loss in subscribers. So my thoughts were right. I am, I am somehow making some people out there uh, feel really bad about themselves. Uh, like I said, don't, I did not mean to do that ever. Never my intention. But I got to be happy about my own success, right? And hopefully somebody out there watching this is feeling inspired and has realized that if Eric can do it, because you guys have been with me for seven years now on YouTube, you have seen the worst possible diet out of any nomad. And now you've seen all that change in just two months and 31.4 pounds lost. Jax is frisky. What's up with you, Mr. Hyper Kitty? Are you, you petting your face? Yeah, he's, he pets himself sometimes. Yeah. Okay. We're proud of you for losing five pounds this year too, Jax. Him's a good boy, yeah. Oh, okay, if you got it, flaunt it, huh? Okay. Be well, guys. I'll see you in my next video from South Texas. Bye-bye.